Well, hello there once again, and you join me here in, uh, I don't know what to call this, the second floor, the bed chambers, call it whatever you want, here in my new and improved starter base. And uh, today I actually have some grand plans. You see, as I move around the starter island now, you can see that a lot of things has happened. Uh, I have built up my start home here, we have the public farms looking pretty good but if i head over here you will see also that we have the villager trader that we've seen previously uh, we have simon uh, currently flexing very heavily with his wealth uh, but also we have a lot of other pretty cool builds uh, that have popped up since last time we have modarang's build over there uh, and also on the other side of the island there is a bunch of cool builds uh, I also realised I forgot to add this little hobbit hole here actually belongs to Esty. Uh, I completely forgot to edit that into the video. Uh, also here we have Jessica's beach house. We've got Badger's little uh, fort here. And we also have a pretty cool little build over there who I'm honestly not sure who owns. And also a lot of other cool builds here that I won't spoil as the other creators will be showcasing them in their own build, in their own videos, I mean. But yeah, so the spawn island is actually starting to uh, get a lot of builds on it. We actually have a, some builds down here in the south as well. And of course, we have the, the north side of the island pretty well covered. Uh, however, I'm starting to think maybe it's time we start planning in terms of branching out and getting to our future main base. And I know that a lot of people have done this already. Mickness, ow. Mickness, for instance, he has gone off uh, starting starting his base. Uh, Damien has gone off starting his base, and uh, yeah, we got several other sort of start have started doing the like preliminary planning, going out and getting started. Um, so yeah, that is basically what I'm thinking as well. But first, let's just very quickly. Cut all of this down so we can get some paper. We can trade that to emeralds to get some more books. And I'll be back once I've finished this. And there we go. That's taken care of. That should uh, help us. Uh, what we're going to do, actually, you know what? We could just might as well just do it straight away. We're going to grab some of this and we're going to make a bunch of paper and we're going to go make some books. Because we need to improve our situation slightly more. Now, as you can see, we have, as I've said before, we have a pretty good sword, we have a pretty good pickaxe, but on to, in terms of armor, it's pretty weak. And uh, the problem right now is that getting diamonds uh, at the uh, main island is turning out to be a bit hard. I have managed to get uh, a total of nine diamonds, and yesterday, you didn't see any of this, but last night I actually spent nearly five hours mining and also in the nether. Um, as you will see on screen right now, I actually spent a good bit of time in the nether trying to get wither skulls so we can get started on getting our first beacon. And despite spending nearly three hours in the nether and killing, based on my notes, a total of nearly 40 wither skeletons, I didn't get a single skull. So either I'm just having the worst of luck, and I even did this with a looting two sword. I know there's looting three, but I don't have that yet. But still, even with a looting two sword, killing nearly 40 wither skeletons gave me no skulls. Uh, and the reason we really want to get a beacon is so we can start, you know, mining more efficiently. But right now, the biggest problem is simply that uh, right here on this island, everyone is mining at the same time. There are currently, if I'm not mistaken, 11 players living on the north side of the island and three living on the south side of the island. But the island is pretty small, so our mine shafts are basically intersecting. Like, I uh, made a new sort of way down yesterday and um, started doing some mining underneath. And pretty much no matter what way I go, I end up in someone else's. Blech, sorry. And no matter what way I go, I end up in someone else's mineshaft. 
So yeah, so maybe it's time we start navigating out to our future base location and maybe set up a new mining operation there and hopefully we can get a bit luckier with the resources. But before we do that, I want to get a few more mending books, a few more good trades so that we have all we need um, for you know improving our quality of life and getting a good start at our new base. So yeah. Let's head over to the village trading hall and do just that. Well, alrighty then, that is taken care of. We managed to get a bunch of emeralds and all in all, we are left with a mending book, an efficiency four book and an unbreaking book. Uh, unbreaking is going on the sword while the mending and efficiency is going on the axe. So with that taken care of, we should actually have pretty okay tools. So all that remains now is really to head over to the anvil. Okay, head over to the anvil and uh, put them all together. And once that has been taken care of, we can get into a boat and head over to the location I am planning to start working on my new base. Well, alrighty then. So we got a good little starter kit collected here. We're actually not going to need that unbreaking book and all of this but yeah we got a nice little starter kit of everything we're gonna need so what we're gonna do now is basically get in our boat and head over to our new base location which uh, is a bit away from here but not so far that it's gonna be like ages to travel in the nether uh, but yeah this new base is uh, southwest of the uh, of the main island here uh, you can see I've already been to, sort of to make sure that I don't end up paddling forever like we did with the bamboo adventure I've already been out exploring and I've set a waypoint in voxel map but yeah this island is still looking very cool and we are definitely not done with it we are definitely coming back here and doing a lot more stuff because this is still going to be the main community area this is where we're going to be building like shops this is where we're going to be keeping all the stuff say hi to penguin this is where we're going to be you know building shops doing community stuff but i mean we can't all have giant bases over there so that is why we are heading over to the new location and here we are so i've gone for this sort of more cliff face sort of thing this year usually i've been making bases like on very flat lands this year i've decided or this season i've decided that i'm gonna do more of a uh, challenge in terms of build style i actually have some design ideas lined up that does require me to have a little flat land to work with so this is going to be just that so what i want to do now um now that we sort of have our location, you can see the marker is down there. Uh, what I want to do, first of all, let's you know climb up here so we can have a look at what's around us. Uh, you can actually see we've got some snow here when we reach the higher wire levels. Um, so we have a nice little like bay in here, mini bay that we can use to do something. We actually have a ravine right there. Oops. We actually have a ravine right there that could be used into something, you know, built into something productive. And I'm thinking the main base is probably going to be somewhat in the mountain here facing the spawn island. But I'm thinking a good place to make like our actual little starter base number two will be down on that little flat area there, you know, or, you know, inside there. But I'm thinking that that little flat area out there, that is a good place for us to make a temporary setup until we get started. So uh, I'm going to just very quickly get my camera account up and we'll build that.
And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a nice little start out. So we're going to leave the boat here at the docks and yeah. This, this should do, I think. Uh, we got ourselves a chest with some of the stuff we collected. We got a crafting table. We got a bed, so we got a spoon set. Um, and as you probably saw in that time lapse, we did a good bit of terraforming to this area. Um, not exactly finished. You can see there's a bit left and over here as well. Uh, the reason I've left this area not really finished yet is because I haven't really decided where I want to do my nether pool. Uh, I'm probably going to be moving that anyway, but what I was thinking, I really want to have a, a slightly cooler nether portal than just, you know, a straight up portal. I was thinking, well, maybe we could have the nether portal like into the mountain there coming out of the side there or something. Uh, it really depends on where we're going to put our full base. But for now, at least we have this cute little area here. Nice little uh, a couple of chairs we can sit by the campfire. Uh, you know, it's it's not a fancy build, it's a very simple little summer house, but it should mean that we have somewhere to begin working on our base. And uh, my plan is to make the main base this year in this mountain right here. That is sort of going to be where the base is going to be situated, located, call it wherever you want. Uh, so, yeah, we're definitely going to have to do some sort of entrance. I'm thinking maybe at some point we're going to have an entrance through this mountain here. Uh, but for now, I mean, this is... Uh, yeah. This is cosy. I like it. And, uh, yeah. So the next step, where do we want to put the nether portal? What do we want to do there? Um, yeah, let's just look into that and... Uh, I'll keep you updated. Well, okay then. So, we've made another portal. Uh, decided to just uh, hide it somewhere in between the trees. I mean, as you can see, most of the birch trees have now grown and sort of protects this area, makes it a little more cozy. So I decided to just put the nether portal in between the trees there since it's just a temporary portal anyway. So the next step now is to follow that uh, nether portal, get into the nether and head back to the starter island because we really need to fix our tools. So let's head through and see where we come out. And here, and here we are. Where? What the? But where? But huh? That's like we're there, and now we're there. That's not even remotely close. Why did it go to the same portal? Okay, you know what? I'm going to fix my tools, and then I'm going to do some troubleshooting on that. But yeah, so what I've found out is that basically you need to go to the nether and actually build the portal yourself because right now it won't actually make a new portal for you what it will do is that it will um it will teleport you to the nearest portal regardless so what i'm gonna do i am gonna go down into the mine shaft here and i'm gonna see if i can get some more obsidian because basically what we need to do we need to go to the nether we need to figure out the coordinates i do have those uh, and then we need to find an appropriate location in which we can build uh, a pool that takes us to our new base. And once that is done, we should be good to go. But for now, what we need to do is make some obsidian. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we've got 27 obsidian, meaning we can now head back up to our base. 
And once we've headed up there, we can head into the nether and begin work on making the nether pool. So what we basically need to do then is just to take the coordinates that I have. Uh, I have them on voxel map, I also have them written down. Uh, and divide them by 8 to get the nether coordinates. So if I head into voxel map here and go down to my base. Sadly you can't see my mouse pointer but... Basically right there where my portal is, that is minus 280 plus 330. So if I open a notepad document and put in minus 280 and 330, then open a calculator and do 280 divided by 8. Oops, 280 divided by... Ah, it keeps... Okay, just zero it. Zero it all out. Okay, so 280 divide... What are you doing, calculator? Be a calculator. 280 divided by 8 is 35, so minus 35, and then 330 divided by 8 is 41.25, so we're just going to do 41 since it rounds down. And then we have our coordinates at the ready. So let's head over to the nether portal, get into the nether and make our new portal. All right then, so we have now carved out a nice little tunnel starting here. No one has any signs, so we're actually gonna have to go back and get some wood. Uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go get some wood so we can make a sign, but basically now what we've done now is we have hello, carved all of the um, tunnel out. We've put up the uh, nether portal itself, so that all that remains now is to light it. Uh, so we need to make some more golden carrots, but we do have some gold on us, so that should be good. So what we need to do now, we just need to get some signs, and I should have some. I do. I have a lot of signs, actually. So let's bring three. Um, and what we're also going to do, let's see if we have any gold. We do. Can we make some nuggets out of that? We can, and then we can make some golden carrots. Only nine, but it should help for now. So let's head back to the tunnel and, uh, yeah, hang up some signs. Okay, we got our first sign up. Let's head over this way. And we're going to make... I'm going to put up a sign here that basically says that way to spawn. So that in case people come out of my portal and are unsure, then they will know. And we're going to put some torches up here, and we're going to put a sign up top that says Fally, because that should be pretty well visible. Then we'll take our flint and steel, and voila, that should now, with some luck, take us to our base. Hey, it worked! All right then, so that means our new base location is now connected to the nether. Meaning we can now very quickly get between the spawn island, which is all the way over there, and our new area where we're working, which is over here. Uh, that's going to be very practical, especially as we start transporting materials and stuff. Um, and especially if we're just going back to the spawn island to buy things, because as, as I've said... Um, as I've said, uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep the community island exactly that, like a community island. So that's where the shops are gonna be. I believe we don't really have any shops yet, but that's probably gonna arrive pretty soon. And uh, that is like where we're gonna you know gather and do community things. But I mean, the spawn island is as if we zoom out and zoom back in. The spawn island is not that big really, so. Uh, yeah, it, it's quite nice to to get, you know, get away from there for the bigger builds. What I only hope, though, is that I've gone far enough. Because right now, the next step, as I've already sort of hinted at, is, of course, that we need to make a mine shaft. And what I'm thinking is, instead of actually making a sort of hole in the ground, as I've done previously, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a stairway leading straight down here and sort of have it you know have some steps here like it's a garden shed or something uh, that is what I'm thinking and what is very nice is that I know because uh, 
I covered it up and you probably also saw it in the time lapse that we have a ravine right next to us. So that is good in the way that, hey, loot, probably, and you know, an easy way to get down. But it also means that we have to be somewhat careful in terms of let's make sure that we don't flood our mining shaft. Because the ravine goes, if I head over here, I think we should see, yeah, the ravine is down here. We've covered some of it up, as you saw in the time lapse. But yeah, so we're going to keep going down here, uh, just heading down straight like this, uh, at least for a little while. And we already got flooding. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna do some work on this, and I'll get back to you on how it goes. Okay, so we've gotten a pretty good start here on uh, making our little entrance to the future mine shaft. What I've basically done, I've only gone one strip here because I honestly don't know if I have enough stairs, but uh, what I've done is I have made a staircase going all the way from up here, made like a little, uh, I don't know what to call it, like a shed roof outside here that I'm sort of happy with. I'm um, going to do some fine tuning with that later. And then I got a staircase going down. Um, we had to stop here because that's where we hit the ravine. And then we're following the ravine. And then I reached a cave here. So I figured, okay, I might as well turn around there. And so far, we've made the made it all the way down to Y28, where I was just stopping now to collect some iron and coal that I found here. There was actually a pretty big vein there. I think that was... Yeah, that was most of that 19 iron and also a lot of coal. So that was actually a pretty good vein. So what we do now, we keep going. Um, making a staircase um, further down here. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know when I get to Y11. Because that is where the magic is going to happen. Well, okay, so we have reached uh, somewhat of a challenge, but I'm, uh, I've already started clearing that out. And actually, it turns out I started recording some of this, and it turns out for some reason OBS didn't take. So, uh, sadly, that was a clip I was going to show you about that. Uh, it's not here. But what I've basically done is I decided, here's the ravine. Uh, we're now much lower. And I figured out, well, what I want to do... I want to just make a glass tunnel instead and make, you know, keep it visible. So what I'm doing now is just filling this up with sand so we can get rid of the water that is within it. And once we have covered all of this, then it should just be as easy as clearing out the sand again. We've got one waterlogged stair. That should take care of it. Oh, we've got another waterlogged stair, and then cover that up. Yeah, as you can see, I'm not really that good at working underwater, but yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, so what, now I've just made like the base tunnel here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going like this. And I'm probably going to sort of even out the roof, because you can see now the roof goes one too low here. So if I do this, and then cover up these two that one needs to be glass then that should be correct and then what we're going to do we're just going to keep filling in like this water mechanics in this game are weird because sometimes the water just sort of drip, dri dribbles down very slowly. Other times it completely floods the place. It makes no sense. But anyway, with that taken care of, we are now getting very close to a decent Y level. We're at Y equals 19. So I think now that we've come down here, we're going to make one maybe final turn. And then we are going to start working on what is going to be the base of our mining operation. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the tunnel is done and we have reached Y11, where we will be doing our mining operations. So what I did, I cleared out a little space here, uh, set up a couple of chests and some furnaces, just so we have a little place to work while we are here. The only thing I am missing, I did forget to get that, I'm going to go up, up top and get that, is I want also to have a bed down here, so that whenever I'm down here doing stuff, 
then I can just have my spawn down here instead of actually having to run back down if and when I die. Um, but yeah, that is basically Y11 then. So what we know then is if we go up here and have a look, you can tell that if I go out mining that way, then I'm basically going to be hitting water pretty quickly. So going this way for mining might be a little risky. But I mean, we could always just go out a couple of blocks and have a look. Yeah, there you go. So you can see that will basically lead you to water. So I'm just going to leave that there just so you can see. Uh, I am, of course, uh, going to be using the true and tested TFC method. That is just going with uh, a two block, um, what's it called? Two. Hey, that was quick. Uh, I'm going to be going with a two block space between the tunnels and I'm going to be just going as far as I can and I'm going to be keeping that up. And because of the distance to the rest of uh, things right now, this should mean that my mining should not overlap uh, with others. And, you know, this is a very good sign, the fact that we get diamonds straight away after struggling to find diamonds altogether. So we've got five diamonds there already, so that's neat. Ah, oh, another one there. Ah, even more! That is, that means that was a sixer, and we got ten diamonds, so considering we have fortune three, it's not the best, but I mean, it's not bad either. And we got some lapis too. Well, this is shaping up to be, uh, to be successful. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do what I always do to begin with, is I'm going to start by sort of carving out all the entrances so that I know where I'm going. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. And I'll get back to you once I've done some progress. Well, alrighty then. So we've got a little start here. I've uh, dug about 100 blocks that way and marked out where the different uh, branches are going to be going. And uh, I've actually got very lucky. Uh, as you can see here, I've kept the diamonds on me. But we also got a bit of redstone, a bit of coal and some lapis just digging all of that out. And we got some iron as well. So hopefully this is going to be... Uh, a mining operation that is going to help us get a bit of resources and that is actually going to be important for us to get some resources now because we need to get ready for the ender dragon fight because uh, this is being recorded on friday the third and tomorrow there's actually going to be a stream day this episode though won't go out until uh, monday i think um monday or tuesday so um, by the time this episode is out, the stream day has already happened. And by the time this episode goes live, we've actually also completed the recording of episode 7. That has also been live streamed. And that is, as part of the stream day, we are going for the Ender Dragon. Uh, why haven't we done this already, you might ask? Well, that is simply because we sort of there's sort of an unwritten rule that the first Ender Dragon kill is done as a community event. So we are, have basically been waiting for everyone to get online, everyone to get started, everyone to have what they need. Uh, and then we were able to, uh, to do it. So yeah, by the, so by the time you're watching this video, we have already killed the Ender Dragon. And that is actually going to be very nice because then we should be able to uh, get started on getting some Shulker Boxes, getting some Elytras. And that is really, really going to help us out. But with that... I'm going to say thank you very much for watching this episode. Uh, I can't wait to show you the next one in which we're doing the Ender Dragon. I hope you enjoyed the stream day. And uh, yeah, thank you very much once again for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Well, alrighty then, so we've set up another portal and we've lit it. I basically, since, we, since we're not actually staying here permanently, for now I've just placed it in here. So it sort of heads straight into the house. And it's also very easy to get access to this place where we're going to be building our base. So the next step now, just to make sure that this is connected. <coughs>